Oh, you're happy about this. So. That's how I'm feeling right now. You know our next guest is the man behind Gollum in Lord of the Rings, King Kong, so and the villain in Star Wars, The Force Awakens. Calm down, Sarah. <laughs> Calm down. Girl. And now he's back in Caesar, or as Caesar for, oh my God, I told you I'd get nervous. War for the ways. Planet of the Apes. Please welcome Andy Serkis. <laughs> I started crying earlier, like I like a little teen girl meeting One Direction because this man is like possibly the best actor that has lived during our time. That a lot of people don't know. And wow. when you learn about wow. him, you will you will be fascinated. You seriously are a genius. Oh wow! Well, but, but I will try not to do this the whole time. You What's leave now? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> How do you top that? Right? Yeah. I mean, there's not much more you can do to impress me, but I do have a question where you have a chance. Okay. okay. So we had Steve Zahn and Woody Harrelson. Yes. And they sang a little. We're not going to make you sing. Oh. But we heard you dance. Well, we saw that. We just saw that. No, there's here. a move that I've never heard of that he loves called the Madison. Well, listen, I, I, I don't know if you remember the, the, the original film of uh, Hairspray with. with uh, this with is the thriller. Thing. Okay, oh, yeah, there you go. Um, hey, oh, hey, look, here oh, it is. That's hairspray. And this is hairspray. And, and this, I was so taken with this that when I first Madison. saw it that, that my wife, Lorraine, and I um, have kind of fell in love with this move. So um, it's very simple, and I think you should do it with me, actually. Oh. I wish you guys. Come here. Okay. Okay, so, so what, do you, what you do is you do this. You go, I mean, as you saw up there, you go like this. Hold on. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Five. Yeah, man. One, two, you, you're good. Never anything right now. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. A one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> I just told him that. <laughs> okay, that was amazing. We've seen air spray. How about we see a little Planet of the Apes? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You're Caesar. We've been searching for you for so long. We heard you had a hidden command base, but we could never find it. Some of us started to think that you might be dead. I did not start this war. I fight only to protect apes. Incredible movie. I watched it last night. I got oh, a chance really? to see it last night. And you are on the you, capture technology is mm. amazing. You've been on the forefront of this. Where can it even go from this? This is so real. Yeah, I mean, look, the way it's evolved over the last 17 years, I think it is, since I first started working with performance capture technology, and it is what it is. You know, it's a, it's a technology that allows actors to be anything. That's the most exciting thing. It's the most liberating tool of the 21st century for an actor because, you know, you can go from playing a golem, three and a half foot hobbit, to a 25 foot gorilla. You know, it's the end of typecasting. It doesn't matter what, what color you are, what shape you are, whether you're tall, short, fat, you know, man or woman, you can play any character. It's, it's the most liberating so, tool. Do you, you help know? design it now, too? You You've learned so much yeah. about it. Well, I don't. I don't. I mean, I'm, I'm, I don't design the characters, but I do have a company in the, in the UK called the Imaginarium, and we we are trying to push the boundaries of it into you know now we we've, we've worked with it in in big budget movies, but you can apply it to all sorts of things into mm -hmm. to video games, virtual reality, oh, mixed wow. reality, yeah. you know, next generation storytelling is is kind of what we're really we're really interested in. And interested. Steve Zahn talked about he was here yesterday. Yeah, he talked about how physically challenging it was, and and watching watching this movie yesterday. It, it looks like it is a serious, constant workout. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, it is physical. And, and it's, you know, you, the thing is, there's, there's two different things to creating a character like Caesar. Oh, um, there he is. Oh, there he is up there. See, that's us all as apes. We do, we do these ape camps before we start. Uh, what before is we start ape camp? Yeah, okay. So ape, ape camp is, 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 you know, if you're creating a believable troop of apes, they've all got to have the, a way of relating to each other. There's a hierarchy, there's a structure, there are all these rules that are beginning to, to Caesar as a, an evolved ape. Because they're not just apes, they're apes that are 
evolving because of the drug that has, has been coursing through their veins over the years. So Caesar is not only, I mean, uh, uh, there's so much to tell you really, but, uh, you know, I've, I've not only played him from infancy all the way through his life, mm -hmm. which is the most incredible journey, uh, you know, over the course of three movies, but he's also evolving. So, so as the, he goes from being purely a chimpanzee to almost this human-like being, and, and, and with that comes how, how do apes begin to form language? How do they start to physically become more human-like? How do they emotionally become more human-like? So, so those are the thought, sorts of things that we, we, we work through in these long, extended improvisations in ape camp. That's so cool. Yeah, it is. <laughs> how fascinating. I, you never hear of anyone do that type of research for a character where you have to study an animal and imagine how they would evolve. Like, mm -hmm. that's mind-blowing. And, and Woody Harrelson off. <laughs> yeah, it really is. <laughs> Woody Harrelson... Uh, he plays your nemesis in this movie, oh, and you amazing. guys are, are really great together. He said, as Sarah said earlier, you're like the greatest actor he, he'd ever worked with. Wow. That's so true. Well, I don't know about that. Uh, that's, that's, that's amazing coming from him because he genuinely is. I, I mean, I, I was so excited to work with him. He's a brilliant actor and, and such a lovely man and a really honest individual and, and, and lives life by, by, by his creed. You know, he's, he's a really, truly, truly great man. And to, he, his character in this movie is so powerful because you want to hate the guy because he is a, he is a quite, he leads in a very brutal way. But he is, you know, when Caesar and the Colonel meet, it's all about their, their, their kind of bizarre respect for each other because they know that they're both trying to ensure the survival of their own species and that's and so so there's a kind of link between them and a strange fascination and understanding so although Caesar is full of hatred for him and and, and the Colonel Woody's character mm -hmm. is for him it, it, there's this bizarre sort of understanding and recognition for each other but Woody is Woody is a Magnificent, magnificent human being and an actor. We became really good mates on the on the on the film and uh, had some wild nights out. Uh, <laughs> In our next segment. <laughs> Having you all here and the sharing talents, and now she has something to talk about on the View. I can just die now. <laughs> and the movie War for the Planet of the Apes it hits theaters on Friday. Andy, thank you so much. Mm -hmm.